free throw line. Billy, the game summary thus far. Well, this points in the paint for Georgetown is not low post scoring by Hibbert. This is backdoor cutting by the Georgetown team. Tremendous balance today. Four players in double figures. William. Time from behind, Dockery, sloppy defensive play. He tried to slap the ball loose from behind, picked up the foul. That is the sixth foul on Duke, so we're still not in the bonus. And the scouting report, if you're playing against Cook, you know you can't use that slap from the back because Cook dribbles the ball low to the floor and is very good at crossover dribbles. So the bad move by Dockery. Here is Amadou Kilkenny Jow on the floor for the first time, replacing Green. Hibbert stays on the floor. Jow, a walk-on senior, 6'9", 240. Just trying to steal some minutes for Green to get back in the ball game. There is that split of the hedge. Brandon Bowman guarded by Melchioni, 15 on the shot clock. 7.08 to go. The lead is seven. Up and under, short. And Melchioni grabs it for Duke in the corner. Oh, again, Paulus for the second time today throws a ball that is unnecessary. Mike Krzyzewski cannot believe it. And you don't want to read his words on that one. No, no, no. You don't. We, we are not going to answer the question no. that he just asked. No. And then Paulus picks up a cheap foul. <laughs> But Paulus, twice in this ball game, tried to make the home run play, when you look at time and score, the wrong time to try it. Young man leading the ACC in assists. Last guy to do that was Ed Cota, who led the league four times in assists and became the third all-time leading assist man in NCAA history. Of course, Bobby Hurley of Duke is the all-time leader, but did not lead the conference as a freshman in assists. Now Paulus picks up the foul, his third, and Jonathan Wallace, 79% for the season. Used it all, and shoots one more. Georgetown, way behind Duke in his second half free throw shooting. Duke was seven for seven, now eight for eight. Now you have Georgetown one for one, so neither team has missed a free throw in the second half. 68-59, under seven to play. Paulus, wide open, open for the three, doesn't take it. Kilkenny Jow picks up the foul. Kilkenny <laughs> turns around to his team and said, why am I guarding him? <laughs> he got caught in the mismatch. Now oh. Mike Krzyzewski's gonna make, uh, make a move and Jamal Boykin, the well-muscled freshman out of California getting ready to come on the floor. Yeah, what this is gonna be about is trying to steal some minutes for Williams at 645, still within striking distance. Does not want his center to pick up another foul, so Williams is going to come out. Interesting strategy by both coaches. They're right on top of their games. That green sitting over there very patiently. Ball is perfect at the uh, free throw line this trip. And again, it's a seven-point game. Still, neither team has missed a free throw in the second half. Melchioni goes down. And into Bowman over here. Yeah. And gets up gingerly. Uh, we know that Duke, uh, of course, with the injury to the Marcus Nelson, were really hurt in that forward position. So Melchioni would really hurt him if he had two down for that one position. And as Lee Melchioni heads to the bench, let's check the CBS Sports Line stat of the game. Georgetown with 40 points in the paint, Duke 22. Get complete game stats at cbssportsline.com. And that forced Mike Krzyzewski to have Williams still back out on the floor. And uh, John Thompson counters with Roy Hibbert. He comes back on the floor, so Kenny Jow is on the bench. Now let's set the lineups for Georgetown right now. It's Wallace playing with four fouls, Ashanti Cook, Daryl Owens, here's Bowman, and Roy Hibbert. I don't think it'd be a bad idea to get that ball into Hibbert one time with Williams on and see if he could just pick up another foul. Roy Hibbert, the 7-2 sophomore. Quiet factor in this game. And a foul is called. Ashanti Cook is going to go to the free throw line. That's 
Doherty reaching in when Cook was going to take a bad shot. Probably not a wise foul. Dockery picks up his third. 68-61. Top-ranked Duke going after their 18th victory to open the season. If they accomplish it, it will be the first time in school history. Georgetown jumped out to an 18-8 lead in the first half. Duke came back, took a 22-20 lead, and then it was Georgetown to the break, and they've led since. Georgetown with four players in double figures today. On the year, they have two in double figures. Hibbert, their leading scorer, but they have six men that average almost nine or better points a game, so good distribution. 6-10 to go. Hibbert with a switch on Reddick. Hurries back inside, Sheldon Williams on the floor. Dockery off the glass and good with the penetration. I think Cook hurt himself now. As a slight cramp, he's limping. Well, Shawnee Cook grimaces as he comes across the timeline without the ball. And uh, Jesse Sapp getting ready to come on for him. 5.40, five, five, second. five second call. Oh, that really hurt having Cook not being able to come back for the ball. He's cramping up a little. J.J. Redick in the second half, Billy. Well, there you see him driving and giving up his body. We saw him do that on the fast break as well. There's that patented fadeaway jumper of his. And right now, he's got Owens on him looking for another shot. 34 points in the game already. Little pick and roll, and Williams will go to the line. He's fouled by Bowman. Not a bad foul there by Bowman. Take away the two, put Williams on the line where he is a decent free throw shooter at 75%. Duke is a team number one in their conference, shooting 76% as a team. Williams with four fouls at the line. Jess, uh, Jeff Green getting ready to come back on the floor. And Williams will shoot one more. Here is Jeff Green, number 32, replacing Roy Hibbert. Well, he stole some minutes, did John Thompson with uh, Green, and gave him a nice rest. But he's got to be careful now not to pick up that cheap foul. This would pull Duke within six. Doesn't happen. And that's why Bowman's foul was a very smart play. Don't give that dunk. Make him go the line and earn it. Here's Bowman. Melchione back on the floor. Battle for the boards, and it comes down in the hands of Sheldon Williams. Had to question that shot. He's got Green back in the ball game. Put the ball in his hands at the top of the key. Look for some backdoor cuts. Five to go. Oh, oh what a ball. ball. Chased down by Sheldon Williams. Stripped by Sack. At the other end, Bowman. Nope, the only back. Count the basket. Send him to the line. Second time today that Sapp has stripped on the drive of play and led to the good break. Terrific play by Georgetown. There's Bowman on a tremendous block on one end of the floor and a good breakaway on the other. Brandon Bowman, not a great free throw shooter. He's 64% for the season and he's at the line now with 4.47 to go. And Duke gets it down to six. And then the breakaways take place. It'll look like an easy layup for Duke. This young man with a tremendous block. Into the hands of Paulus. 4.45 remaining. Reddick, good defense. Touch last by Georgetown. You notice how much better Georgetown is when they have Bowman or Owens on Reddick. They have enough size to take away his jump shot. When Wallace gets on him or Cook, he's looking for the jumper. Got Kenny Jow back on the floor. Reddick. Beautiful. And there was a case. Bowman got caught behind the screen. That young man is some shooter, isn't he? Timeout Duke. Reddick with 37 points.
When we got married, suddenly we had two of everything. They had a lot of stuff. Two dining sets, two dogs. Two car insurance companies. I'm State Farm agent Joan Raysom, and this is a true story. We had to get rid of a few things. Yeah, mainly my things. He had State Farm. She had a gecko. I helped them compare rates and coverage. It was no comparison. He was right. For once. This time, one of my things stayed. Last year, 1.3 million drivers switched to State Farm. Call an agent today and you'll switch too. Like a good neighbor? State Farm is there. Seven, six point game, 4.36 to go. Both teams with two timeouts remaining. Team fouls nine and 11. And the possession arrow against Duke. Billy, we saw J.J. Reddick score 41 this season against hey, he does, Texas. He does not play well on CBS. <laughs> you know, he, just, he just doesn't bring it on CBS. Hey, I will say this, he had to work a little harder today for his 37 than he did then for his 41. I would agree. I would agree. This has been a real battle. He's had to give up his body, go into the basket a lot today. Against Texas, he had a lot of open looks. Steal by Reddick. Rejected. The basket is up and good. Boykin. Left hand play. Reddick with a great play inside. At the other end, here's Bowman. Gets by Nelson Lundy for two. And Duke counters. 4-14 to go. Undefeated Duke. Reddick. Oh, he pulled back. He showed the full arsenal here. There is a foul. Offensive foul. foul. Cook pushed off on Dockley. Huge play. Foul on Ashanti Cook. Well, here comes Williams back in the game. Mike Krzyzewski trying to go. Boykin in, get Williams on the offensive end, and not have him play on the defensive end. Great college basketball game. My goodness, 4.06 to go. Last Duke lead was at 22 to 20, midway through the first half. They trailed by 14 at the break. They clawed themselves back into this one. They are within four. Reddick, Williams, Melchioni, Paulus. And Dockery on the floor. Here's Williams. His second field goal of the game. Wesley Green could not afford to go and attack him defensively. Cook back in the ballgame. Georgetown really missed him with that slight cramp that he had. He had to sit for a while. He missed his ball handling. Backdoor cut. Oh, wow. Up and under. Off the glass, Jonathan Wallace. We talk about points in the paint, fans, and that's what Georgetown has had, but they're not the typical low post moves. Reddick fights off the block, he's outside. There's the switch. It's Green who's got four fouls. Has to be careful, not the, a danger that far out. Well, maybe. Uh, not, a, not a good play. He thought he could take Green, and Green held his own. At the other end, there's Green. Nice catch and a smart move. Back to the half door set, 3-10 to go. Green, rejected by Williams. Loose ball, timeout Duke. Seventy-six, seventy-two. Ready to double your chances of landing the right job? If you post your resume on Monster today, you're twice as likely to get the interview and the job. There's something you should know about colds. Claritin D is so effective, it even relieves nasal congestion due to colds. Non-drowsy, long-lasting, Claritin D. Now your cold congestion can be Claritin clear. Four-point Georgetown lead with 3.04 to go. Duke, one timeout left. Georgetown with two. And uh, the next foul, both teams will be in the double bonus. And remember, Vern, early in that first half when Duke called timeouts to regain possession on what looked like hell ball situation, now they only have one timeout left. Duke with Williams with four fouls. Wallace and Green and Georgetown both have four fouls on it. 
Redick with 39 points. They try and put the ball in his hands. He puts it on the floor. Impatience by Duke. Trying to get too much too quick. They should have gone to Williams with Kilkenny on him. Backdoor cut. Melchione saves it for Duke. Here's Dockery. Redick spots up on the far side. Spin move, Dockery. Out of bounds. Touch last by Dockery. Question for a senior, where is he going? Redick was wide open on the wing. Time call. Some beers are big on flavor. Some beers are easy to drink. But until now, no beer has offered at all. Budweiser Select starts with hand-picked American and Bavarian hops. Budweiser Select is brewed longer for a bold taste that finishes clean. With Budweiser Select, it all comes together. Expect everything. One car was ranked most appealing entry midsize by J.D. Power and Associates and earned Strategic Vision's Total Quality Award. It wasn't a Toyota or Honda. It was the Pontiac G6 sedan, designed to be one of the best cars in the world. And now, we've created another. The new 240 horsepower G6 Coupe and the award-winning G6 sedan. Pontiac, designed for action. The pursuit of healthy, beautiful hair. The lengths we've gone to. The things we've tried. When all along, the secret to healthy hair is a healthy scalp. Go straight to the source with the totally reinvented head and shoulders. The HydraZinc formula delivers six times the moisturizers to your scalp and hair. It's healthy, beautiful, and 100% flake-free. Surprise yourself with one of the nine formulations of the new head and shoulders. Truly healthy hair starts at the scalp. I want to go over a few things before you leave for Oslo. 80 gig, titanium, Wi-Fi, secure. Should you find yourself sans laptop, check in with this. Bluetooth, broadband, built-in camera. Secure. If it's on our network, it's secure. Encrypted, hacker-proof, titanium. It's a pen. Security, powered by Cisco. Georgetown with a four-point lead, and they have the ball, Billy. Well, Vern, what I think is the team that is most patient with the ball in their hands is going to win this game. Duke gave up a couple of real good possessions. Remember that throwaway by Paulus and that last one by Dockery? You cannot afford to be impatient now. So I think if you're Georgetown, keep the ball in Cook's hands and then get it to Green. Occupy as much of the clock you can and look for those backdoor cuts. There's the uh, run out of Shawnee Cook. Paulus will bring it back. He was an offensive quarterback, not a defensive player. So therefore, he did a pretty good job as a defensive halfback there on that long pass. Williams goes for the steal. Got it. Here's Paulus. Kicks it to Reddick. Foul by the arm. And at the other end, here goes Owens. Huge play. I thought Reddick got hit on the arm. On a jumper, but evidently not. He never saw the defender coming at him. Reddick has the ball again. 39 points for J.J. Reddick. The screen set by Melchioni. He kicks it out for Pollitz. Under two to go. Stolen. Impatience by the freshman. So be a good lesson for Paulus when he goes back and looks at this game. He, made, he tried to push the game a little bit too quickly. Mentioned earlier, the last time Georgetown defeated the number one team, January 28, 1985, when they were second, they defeated St. John's. They've lost 11 in a row to top-ranked teams, including three last season. And you know what happened after that, too, Fern, is interesting that year. They went on to win the national championship. They won the Big East Tournament, beating that same St. John's team, the great Chris Mullen clubs. Those used to be incredible battles. And remember, of course, in the Final Four semis, they beat that same St. John team. So four times they went up against each other that year, the two top teams in the country, although we know that Villanova came in there, of course, and ruined everything for them. But uh, those two teams had great head-to-head -head battles. One of two, Jeff Green. 
So you got to figure the Big East back in those days was really strong, and it is right back there now with outstanding teams from top to bottom. Seven-point lead here with 145 to go. St. John's now winners over Pittsburgh today. They defeated Louisville in their most recent game. Duke has turned it over four times, Billy, in their last six possessions. 69 seconds to go. Reddick will go to the line. Brandon Bowman with a foul. But what did Mike Krzyzewski tell us yesterday in the sidelines? Going undefeated was never one of our priorities. Right. Getting to be a better team, getting into the NCAA tournament, and winning it all is one of their priorities. One more for Reddick. He hit 10 of 10 against North Carolina State. He's now 10 of 12 from the line in this game with 96 seconds to go. Boykin is back. Sheldon Williams will sit. He's played much of the second half with four fouls. This would equal his season high. That came against Texas. Considering all the effort he's put in on both ends of the floor, and again, Georgetown goes over the top. Here's Green, and a smart play by Green. Boykin chases him down, and the foul's called on Melchioni, who is limping now. Remember, he was injured when he ran into Bowman earlier. Well, I thought that Boykin should have fouled Green right away, because you're trying to steal some clock here, and Green only a 52% free throw shooter. So you'd like to get him on the line as quickly as possible anytime he handles it. He's exactly at 50% uh, today, two of four. And he shoots two. Oh, wow. Five, <laughs> five times last year, this guy was the Big East Rookie of the Week. And he is having a Player of the Week game today. One of two. Sheldon Williams with a rebound. Here's Reddick. Spins, puts it up short. Rebound. Picked up by Georgetown. Owens back to Bowman. Two more. And there's some seniors that tasted defeat against Duke two years ago. They've got to feel really good about themselves here today. Dockery, a little runner in the lane. Timeout, Duke. That's their last. 64 seconds to go. A six-point Georgetown lead. With Vonage, I talk as much as I want and pay a lot less. It's just $24.99 a month, and that includes voicemail, caller ID, three-way calling, and a lot more. The voice quality is great, and I even get to keep my same phone and phone number. I've had Vonage for uh, four months. Should have gotten it a long time ago. We're not out to change the world, just the way you talk to it. Sign up now and get your first month free. Call 1-800-939-4VON. High-speed internet connection required. Mmm, something smells good. Delivery? Yeah, it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. DiGiorno? Get out. You fixed the oven. You fixed the oven? <laughs> you are handy. I'm calling mother. Pizza? DiGiorno Microwave Pizza. Rises up golden brown in minutes. For oven baked taste in a hurry, it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Microwave. Microwave, huh? At least I fixed something. 104 to go in the ball game. Duke undefeated for the season. Trying to win its 18th. Georgetown up by six with 104 to go. Trying to give John Thompson the third the most significant win in his year and a half for the 39-year-old head coach. Well, we talked about Owens and Cook and Bowman, who are three guys that played against Duke here two years ago. That was just great teamwork. Nice patience by Georgetown to get themselves back in a commanding position. A little over 15 years since they lost the last. This one, and they slipped and traveled as Bowman slipped trying to control the loose ball. Kind of surprised that they're going for a home run here. What they need is to occupy some time. 
Now Duke is out of timeouts. Mamadou Kilkenny Jow is back on the floor. Jeff Green will head to the best, so the bench. So Melchione, Dockery, Paulus, Reddick is down in the corner. Guarded by Bowman. Now what you don't want to have happen if you're Georgetown to give Reddick any free opportunity looks here. Reddick right under the basket right now. Here's Paulus. Back outside, Dockery. 51 seconds to go in the lane. Got it. It's a four-point game. It's still a two-possession game because they don't get a three on that one. Timeout called. Georgetown. They have trouble against the press. 48.5 to go. The margin of difference is four. Gas meets electric. High performance meets low emissions. You can drive two cars, or one without compromise. Introducing the luxury hybrid, the Lexus RX 400H. Gives more to the driver, takes less from the world. Four point game of 48.5 to go. Duke out of timeouts, Georgetown one remaining, both in the double bonus. Now Vern, what you have if you don't get the three point shot when you're down six, you're still in a two possession game. So Georgetown in pretty good shape right here. They've been going long over the top of this press. I think now the key is just to get the ball inbounds, force Duke to commit a foul. It's inbounded, Ashanti Cook, and he's fouled. Ashanti Cook will go to the line and shoot two. We began this day with three undefeated teams in Division I. Pittsburgh has already tasted defeat to the Johnnies of St. John's. Later this evening, undefeated Florida at Tennessee. And here, Georgetown leads undefeated Duke by four with 45.3 to go. Ashanti Cook, perfect today. Not with that. Well, and you know, when he had that slight cramp and had to go out of the ball game, it really allowed Duke to get back into this thing. It took away the primary ball handler they had against the press. 73% free throw shooter on the year. That one never had a chance. Five point game. Still a two possession game. Now you, now you can go for two. Up and under, no! Oh man! A tussle. What is so tough for Duke there is that the basket doesn't go in, so in order to get the two back, they wasted a number of seconds. Wide open layup for Paulus. Duke ball out of bounds, no fall, foul call. Here's Reddick, pump fake. Pulls it back outside. Yeah. Bowman. Georgetown ball. There is Bowman. We talked about that superior size, making it so tough for Reddick to get off the jumper. Bowman, 6'7", long, senior, knows how to play. Ball in the hands of Bowman. He's fouled by Mel Keone. 63% free throw shooter goes to the line. Now you have an opportunity to turn it into a three possession game if you can do the job on the free throw line. And that should about seal it if he can do it. Brandon Bowman, 6'9", senior from Santa Monica, California. Two of three at the line today. He and Cook high school teammates. This has to be one of their shining moments. Their four-year careers here at Georgetown. Not any good things ahead for this team, Brian. You can see this being a dangerous club come NCAA tournament time. They've not been in the tournament since 2001. Here's Dockery. Off the glass and good. 24.5. The ball inbound. Into the hands of Cook. Stolen. Here's Paulus. Off the glass and good. 17.6 to go. One three-point shot away from tying this up. 
Reddick fouls Bowman. Georgetown has lost some patience right now. The optic to keep that ball moving, knowing that George that Duke is going to want to foul anybody that touches it. But as soon as you catch it, be ready to pass it. And that puts Bowman back at the line. 22 points, four of five. This is a big, big free throw here. Jeff Green back for the Hoyas of Georgetown. And if you're Duke right now, I think if, if he misses this, put the ball in Reddick's hands, not to shoot the free, but to penetrate and kick out to a Melchioni or a Dockery. Four point game, huge. Paulus has it, take it right to the basket. Reddick comes back outside, Paulus, there's Green, back to Dockery, nine seconds to go. <laughs> They, they want to see if it's a two or three. The officials yes. are going to take a look at this one. So Jim Burr leads the parade over to see if he was on the line or beyond the line. Now he obviously ends up inside the line. And we know this young man <laughs> made a 44-footer that was a three-point shot to beat Virginia Tech. Now, where does he start from? I think he's over, isn't he? Yep, it looked like his yep. right foot, Billy, yep. I was think on two. the line. Right there. Yep, he's over the line without a, without a problem. It's a two. He hit that 40-footer against Virginia Tech that pulled out what looked like it was going to be a loss, but this one is a two. And so the Hoyas have the ball, 7.4 to go. They've got Wallace, Cook, Owens, Green. I, I'd want Owens to touch this ball if I'm Georgetown. He's an 87% free throw shooter. Try to get him the ball. Instead, it's Wallace. And for the season, Wallace, a 79%. Not bad. Free throw shooter. It's always important to make sure that ball is caught by guys that can make free throws. Today's Chevrolet players of the game, J.J. Reddick from Duke, Jeff Green from Georgetown. In recognition of their determination and outstanding play, Chevy, a $1,000 contribution to each school's general scholarship fund, Chevy and American Revolution. Yeah. One more. This is the one, Vern. Because you've got six seconds. He makes it. Duke's out of time. He misses it, and the three will tire They have a chance for the tie. Paulus looking for Reddick. Oh. Loose ball. Georgetown wins. Where is he going? You see Mike Krzyzewski goes right to Paulus. This is a learning experience for that freshman. Tremendous win for Georgetown. Seven eighty-four. Georgetown goes down. More college basketball after the commercial for Billy Packer. Georgetown wins. Two and a half men. Monday on CBS, America's most watched network. I want a used car, but why can't I get a great warranty like I'd have with a new car? Our seventy-five thousand mile no worry warranty offers better protection on used vehicles than any other Chevy dealer in Greater Cincinnati. Now you can find the hottest used cars at Tom Gill Chevrolet, like the 05 Toyota Corolla for as low as $14,995. Plus, we've made a special purchase of 05 Malibus, priced as low as $99.95. You won't find a better deal. Tom Gill Chevrolet, a business of character. In the blink of an eye. Your whole life can change, and because you've been injured on the job, you suddenly find yourself dealing with big business or the Bureau of Workers' Compensation for assistance. At Casper & Casper, we realize just how difficult bureaucracy can be, and that's where we can help. We handle workers' compensation issues every day and know how to get our clients positive results. Casper & Casper, helping you receive all the benefits you deserve. I'm glad you're driving. I hate this stuff. The law 
calls for every driver to have car insurance. But weather like this demands it. 1-800-SAFE-AUTO. We keep you legal for less. Local 12, breaking news where you live. And welcome to the campus of UCLA, Pauley Pavilion. Two top 20 teams, West Virginia and UCLA with Clark Kellogg, Kevin Harlan. Thank you for joining us. Your headlines today in this one. For West Virginia, they